tell us um, exactly what transpired here? <laughs> Uh, earlier today, the U.S. Marshal Service uh, was following up on a lead with the escaped uh, convicted murderer from the Childersburg Correctional Facility in Talladega County. Uh, they had information that led them to this address. Uh, our sheriff's deputies assisted them when they arrived. Upon arrival, they were able to visually confirm that the individual was here. From there, our sheriff's office investigators were able to obtain a search warrant from a judge in Morgan County. At that point, we were able to work with other agencies to bring in the bomb squad from Huntsville, the SWAT team, and then eventually, after trying to communicate for several hours, we uh, were able to make uh, entry with, by popping tear gas. Uh, and at that point, after several rounds of that, the individual did come out and is taken into custody. Tell us why the bomb squad and SWAT and all these extra forces needed to come out here tonight. Uh, number one, this is a convicted murderer, so obviously very dangerous, uh, and somebody who was sentenced to life, uh, so definitely someone that we want to treat very cautiously. Uh, with the bomb squad, in the course of our communications with him, we were led to believe that that would be necessary on scene, uh, at which time the bomb squad was contacted and came along with SWAT uh, from Huntsville. Did he have any weapons on him in the house? That you guys know of. The scene's still active, and the house is clear, clearing the uh, tear gas, so we're not fully aware of what all's in it. They did make a sweep of the residence to ensure there is no uh, explosive device. Uh, they'll continue to comb the scene and uh, update us on what they find in it. The gentleman that came out of the house first um, a few hours ago, what is his relation to Daniel, and what role does he play in today? Currently, we don't believe there was a relationship between the individual that came out earlier. Uh, we'll still look into that, and uh, they'll continue to question him, uh, but believe this happened to be at the wrong place at the wrong time. Was he holding him hostage? No hostage situation. They were just uh, both in the house, uh, and one was able to leave freely. From what we could see just now, uh, you know, you guys were able to avoid a, a pretty horrific situation in that he came up and with his hands on his head, you know, avoiding any kind of an awful casualty situation out here. You have to be thankful for the, the way this turned out, I suppose. We are. We couldn't work with a better group of agencies, uh, highly trained, highly professional. Uh, from the beginning of this to the end that we just saw, uh, we were in control the whole time, uh, aware of what everyone was going to do. And then when it came time to execute the plan, we executed it flawlessly. Uh, and that's a testament to the guys that train in between events like this and then their ability to work together uh, with different agencies to bring about a successful conclusion. Since Miner was already serving a life sentence in prison, is he going to have additional charges? Obviously an escape charge, but now what does this um, lead to after what happened tonight? Uh, investigators will continue to see what brought him to this residence and then any acts that took place prior to this, as well as anything that happened tonight. Uh, we would assume that additional charges would come from that, in addition to the escape charges and the life sentence that he was already facing. What do you have to say to this community that has probably endured panic in the last couple hours, really not knowing what's going on, not knowing that it's safe? What do you have to say to them now? Uh, number one, I want to compliment the people of this road in this area. Uh, they were very understanding. Uh, they listened to us. They worked with us. Uh, they offered us assistance where they could. Uh, so we're very grateful for that. Uh, and the second thing, I just want to thank them for their trust in all of our agencies out here. Uh, they allowed us to do our job. They believed that we could do it successfully, and we did. Uh, well, tell us every agency that was here that y'all worked with today. Uh, we have the U.S. Marshal Service, the Morgan County Sheriff's Office, uh, Huntsville PD's SWAT and Bomb Squad, uh, Coleman Sheriff's Office was on scene for a time. Uh, we have Faultful PD out here, uh, and I believe that's all, if we missed any, in Madison County, Madison County assisted. And then we also have the Alia helicopter, which is circling overhead. Is um as far as processing, I guess, is he turned over to the, the marshals at this point? At this point, he is in the custody of the Morgan County Sheriff's Office. Uh, we will transport him to the Morgan County Jail. Uh, he will be processed into the facility, and then from there, the Department of Corrections uh, will make their next decisions as to what to do with him. Is there any telling how he got from Talladega to Morgan County? Not that we're aware of. Uh, obviously, the U.S. Marshals ha are highly skilled at what they do. Uh, and their piece in that trail together. But as far as Morgan County Sheriff's Office is concerned, uh, we're not aware. What was the group like? It took a while to get him out. A couple times you guys were saying his name, so we knew it was him. 
Yeah, we definitely uh, try to communicate to get this to end without having to pop tear gas or use armored vehicles. Uh, when the suspect was removed from the house, he was distraught. Uh, obviously, he's facing the life sentence that he already had, as well as the rest of the stuff. So that was that probably best describes his mood. Right now, when it comes for uh, this scene in particular, when we're going tomorrow, is the scene officially cleared now, or is it something where it's still going to be uh, looked at by law enforcement throughout the next couple of hours, days? Yeah, the scene will probably be pulled back slowly over the next few hours. Uh, obviously, we want to open this road back up to the residents so they can get back to their homes. Uh, and then we'll continue to comb the house and the area around the house. Uh, and then it's probably sometime overnight we'll clear up from here. Uh, and then investigators, obviously, as they learn more, uh, may be back here several times. The person who was taken out of the house first, is this his house? No, he was just a person on scene. So we have no idea whose house this is or what the connection is? We do. We've been in contact with the owner of the property, uh, was not involved in this. Uh, we believe there are possibly some renters or some other individuals that were staying here uh, that we'll have other conversations with uh, just to understand their involvement. Uh, but the homeowner, to our knowledge, was not involved. So it wasn't a break-in? No.